YouTube channel. Today we are going to study about the subject that is Animal Diversity 3. In that topic is included Introduction to Phylum Chorata. In that subtopic is Classification of Phylum Chorata up to classes Spices, Amphibia, Reptilia, Aves and Mammalia. So as we know that Phylum Chorata is divided into two groups that is Proto Chorata and U Chorata. Proto means first, Chorda means Chord. So, this organism shows the presence of notochord. Okay, again, there is absence of cranium, that is brain box. O means absent, cranium means brain box. That's why this organism known as a craniates. Okay, so these organisms are all marine and the primitive form. Vertebral column and the cranium are absent in those organisms. So, a craniata is divided into three subphylums that is hemichordate, eurochordate, and the cephalochordate. Hemichordata, hemi means half, corda means cord. So, the notochord is a short and confined to the proboscis region. As we know that the proboscis is the anterior portion of the body. Deuterostomus, pharyngeal gill and dorsal nerve cord. Deuterostomes means the blastopore is developed into the anus and these organisms are known as deuterostomes organisms. Nowadays, hemichordate placed as independent invertebrate phyla. Just we are study this because theoretically we have to study this because it is included in our syllabus. Example is balanoglossus. You can see proboscis is the anterior portion of anterior part of the body after that collar and the trunk. So this balanoglossus is example of the class enteronemestia. Enteron means gills, nemestia means breath. So body is large, worm-like, gill slits are numerous and intestine is straight. Again, the next is Eurochordata. Euros means tail, corda means cord. Here, the presence of notochord and nerve cord present only in the tadpole like larva. Okay. So, the developing form that is tadpole or the larva that shows the presence of nerve cord and the notochord. But in adult, the nerve cord or notochord is absent. Adult is a sac like and often sessile. And this is the example of regressive motomorphosis. Here we can see the advanced character we can see in the developing larva, but those advanced characters are absent in the adult, and adult are sessile. These organisms covered in the protective tunics. Protective Tunics are nothing but the outer covering of the body. Example, Hadmania. Here, we can see in this slide, the Hadmania, the, uh, it included in a class, Acidesia. It is a sessile tunicates with scattered muscle in a tunics, solitary colonial or the compound. Next is Cephalochordata. Cephalic means head, corde means cord. So, the nerve cord and the notochord present throughout the life among the entire length of the body. It includes only one class that is leptocardi. Body is fish-like segmented with the numerous gill slits. Free swimming and the burrowing organism. Example is amphioxus. You can see here in the diagram. So, the tentacles are there presence of the pharyngeal gill slits, nerve cord and the notochord. So the entire body of the organism from top to the bottom that is cephalic portion means the head to the tail portion of the body that shows the presence of nerve cord as well as the notochord. So this, these are the three main basic features of the Chordata, that is presence of nerve cord, notochord and the gill slit. So, all these three features present in the amphioxus. As we know that these are the burrowing organisms. So, the yellowish portion that shows the presence of the sand and the uh, blue portion that shows the presence of the water or the air. 
so we can see these organisms are the burrowing organism again the phylum chordata now we revise this what we up to studied we up to studied the silent features of the phylum chordata as we know that there is a presence of nerve cord notochord and the presence of gill slits and the organisms are triploblastic again here the phylum chordata is divided into protochordates and verte or vertebrates or euchordates here you can see the acraniata or the protochordata there is a complete absence of brain box or the cranium notochord may persist throughout life and it is not replaced by the vertebral column so the main difference here so notochord is present in the form of notochord only there is no modification of notochord so here the euchordate you called it a encephalocordet as we know that euro means tail so the developing larva that shows the presence of notochord but adult in adult there is absence of notochord only developing larva that shows the presence of nerve cord and the notochord example is hartmanium so this is the example of re retrogressive metamorphosis again okay, the cephalocordet example is amphioxus that is presence of nerve cord and the notochord from the cephalic portion that is anterior end of the body up to the posterior end of the body and amphioxus show the presence of nerve cord and the notochord throughout the life again the craniata or the vertebrata this craniata u cordata u cordata or the vertebrata here in those organisms vertebral column it is replaced or it is modified by well, sorry notochord is modified by the vertebral column again the two sub phylums or the divisions so vertebrata is divided into agnatha and gnathostomata a means absence of jaws that is ostracodermia and cyclostomata are the examples gnathostoma that is presence of the jaws again the gnathostoma is divided into two superclasses that is pisces and the tetrapoda so all fish that are included in pisces that is placodermia contractis and the ostrochthys so cartilaginous fishes bony fishes and the extinct fishes that all fishes are included in the superclass pisces again tetrapoda so tetra means four poda means leg means the organism organism having the four legs okay so here in the tetrapoda there are four different type of classes that is amphibia reptilia ave and the mammals so this is all about the phylum chordata and next in the next ppt we are going to study about the sub phylum or the division that is eucordata or the vertebrata thank you